Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to give you my first impression of Atlanta by Sarah Baker Perfumes. Knows Sarah McCartney from the UK. Sarah McCartney from 4,160 Tuesdays. So what I'd like to do is give you my first impression. It's not the first time I've gotten my nose on this, but it's the first time I have in a few weeks. Get out a scent strip, label it, cause I'm gonna save it. Um, I'm nervous because I really look up to Sarah McCartney as a perfumer and I really want to like this and I'm also thinking I'm probably not going to be able to describe it in words which makes me nervous as well. I, I haven't looked at the I haven't looked it up on these fragrance websites yet. I just open a couple windows on my iPad. All right, I'm gonna spray it. Maybe I should spray it on my skin too. I'm already smelling the, um, the, the, the blueness, the, the water. I'm smelling the, the seawater accord. Oh, I'm actually getting the fishy smell. I wish I knew the word for that. I'm gonna to need to look that up. Oh, wow. Wow. There's something smoky, like smoke. There's something very warm. Okay, this is blowing me away right now. This is blowing me away. Let me move that over. This fragrance is blowing me away. The fact that there's warmth, that I'm actually feeling like there's warmth coming from this fragrance. I've worn this about two times and I was not feeling like it was lasting long enough for me. And I haven't sprayed like six sprays in a row in my office before though. Wow, this is complex. Okay, I'm almost blushing. I feel like I'm, it, it, this is really good. This is so good. And see, I was telling you, I was nervous because I look up to her so much. She's in my perfume group and I haven't met her. I haven't even taken any of her classes yet, but she's so good. And she's been doing this really in a focused way for a while now. And I mean, she's a teacher, which I think teachers are just a godsend to the rest of us who can't teach, but wow. I'm gonna need some help putting this into words, to be honest, but there's this very pleasant, fishy aspect to it that is not like, no, it's, it's there's something nutty right next to the fishy and it gives it this fresh fish, like not fresh as in like you're walking along Seaman's Row and you're going to a restaurant that's serving fish that's coming right off the boats that are coming in, in uh, Newport, Oregon, for instance. No, it's not like that. That's a really sharp and also kind of like going bad kind of smell that you get there. But, but this is salty and this is nutty and this is like uh, almost like a cooked a cooked fish with butter. Yeah, butter. There's a buttery smooth quality. There's an umami quality to this fragrance actually. I'm impressed by the umami aspect. It's making me feel like comforted, like a warm meal that's in your stomach. You've eaten not too much, but just enough of a warm meal. 
after feeling cold because it's been cold and rainy outside and you've gotten a lot of precipitation, maybe it's raining all the time, like in Portland, Oregon, where I live, raining nine months out of the winter part of the year, kind of like that kind of a day where it's cold and then you get warmed up and you, it just, the warmth feels better. Hmm, I wonder what kind of florals she used in this. Let's see, you'll find out about me as a perfumer. I don't really like florals too much. I like woody, resinous notes and vanilla. I love vanilla, like I'm making a really amazing vanilla tincture right now. Vanilla bean tincture. And it'll be ready in a month. And I'm so excited to use it. I love it. I love how musky vanilla bean tincture is on the skin. So I just took a glance down at the Parfumo listing for Atlanta by Sarah Baker Perfumes. The year is 2019. It's got a 7.8 out of 10 with 19 ratings says the scent is aquatic floral. Okay, so there are flowers in here. Aquatic floral. The longevity is above average, is still available to purchase, yes. Aquatic floral, woody, fresh, citrus. The fragrance notes listed are ambergris. I think maybe I'm smelling ambergris. I wonder if she uses real ambergris. I have a feeling she might. Okay, driftwood. Is she making driftwood tinctures? I bet she is. That's amazing. That's a good idea. Kelp, kelp tincture, that would be great. I might have to get some seaweed and do that myself. Seashell, how'd she do that? How'd she make it smell like a seashell? Is it just her imagining or how? Did she tincture something to do with a seashell? Stone, okay. Yuzu, that's a citrus and it's a very bright citrus. Cedar, okay. I like cedar a lot. Iris, I can smell iris. Okay, so there's iris, that's a floral, okay. Lily of the valley. Lily of the valley is usually pretty clean, kind of soapy smelling. So, all right. Okay, well, I was interested in what kind of floral she would put with a aquatic scent named Atlanta, like the Atlantic Ocean. So Lily of the Valley and Iris to put in there. Okay. She did that based on the way they smell, not based on the concepts or like where they grow. Not, I don't think that they grow anywhere near the, the ocean as far as I know. But the smells, I could see that you would put them together then. So I wondered that like how she, what she would choose to put in there as a floral. Cause I need to use florals in my perfumes more, I think probably. And I feel like Lily is just so basic and like it's used so often commonly in soaps. I don't want people to be associating my perfumes with like some soap that they don't like. Um, so I, I hesitate to put, I have a lot of Lily of the Valley materials, a lot of different aspects of that note and I could be using it. I'm looking for ways to use it. Fresh and citrus. Interesting. So I don't get, I didn't, I didn't really notice that it was yuzu. It's warm more than it is fresh, but it does have a freshness. It's got a warm freshness. Okay. It's a little bit gourmand. How can this be gourmand? Hmm. Yeah, the nutty. Hmm. Yuzu is the only thing that's edible in here. Listed. Hmm. I want to give you my final uh, thoughts on this fragrance. Um, it's like a blue gourmand. Or like a gourmand blue. It's like got the fresh oceanic notes and the mineral notes. 
that I didn't mention, but that's like the stone tincture and the shell, seashell tincture. And then there's the warm, nutty, gourmand aspect of it that I like. It's weird to have the fish in there, in between, joining them. I think this fragrance would take some getting used to, but it could be like a nice, it, it, could, it could become familiar and it could become really nice and addictive, potentially. I could see it. Um, let's see. I think I only have 30 milliliters here. So we'll see. I'm see if I wear it. Like, cause it's I was gonna say it's spring, but it's a rainy cold day here in Portland, Oregon. So that's not uh that's not I it's not warm enough for me to wear this right now. But maybe I'll get to wear it this summer. My goal for the next month or two is to find one or two blue fragrances, fresh fragrances, things that I like to wear when it's really hot here in Portland, Oregon, where it gets hot and sunny all summer long. I've got to wear long sleeves, long necks to protect from the sun when I go for my walks, which I'm an avid, avid meditating walker. I meditate while I walk. It's great. I get lots of ideas that way. So yeah, I'd like to come up with something blue. I did, let's see, there was something intense, something blue intense, Dolce & Gabbana, something blue intense. Yeah, I thought about that as one, but that's kind of like more of like a body spray, I think. I would think of it, at, I don't know, I haven't smelled it yet, but that's how I imagine it. And something blue though, like, I mean, Sauvage, I'm gonna end up with some Sauvage at some point. I just need to figure out which one I wanna get, or maybe two. Um, but I wanna, no, I'm gonna end up with six or six or five fragrances that are like summer type. I don't have any, I have zero right now. The closest I have is Bowling Green, uh, Eau de Toilette. Yeah, Eau de Toilette. Um, it's a broken bottle that I received, but it's, so it's always actually emanating Bowling Green by Jeffrey Bean. I think that's the closest I have to anything for summer. So I'm hoping that maybe this is, so this is an aquatic floral. That's how it's characterized. I'm gonna go with that. I like this fragrance. I'm really happy I got it. Really happy to support Sarah McCartney and Sarah Baker Perfumes. And I am glad to provide this, this little impression that I, that I gave you here for this fragrance. I think that it is, let's see, I don't even remember how much I paid for it. It wasn't cheap, but it wasn't like outlandish. For me, it was not cheap because it was over a hundred dollars. That's my Right now, that's my thing, is if I can get it for under $100, I might get it. But even if it's 88, I might not. 